This December I'm making a Christmas calendar using vanilla JavaScript and HTML canvas. In each one of these days I'm going to procedurally generate a unique Christmassy item because I need icons like these around this time and good free ones are hard to come by. I also want to easily scale and color them in different ways. I hope you'll follow along and implement your own versions so I can showcase them in a special video on the 24th. You'll practice working with coordinates, basic math, and various JavaScript programming techniques. It's a good project, I think, to learn about code modularity, reusability, and how to write consistent code. Today is day 5 and we're gonna learn to draw a bow. Coding with Rob. Let's code now. To draw the fifth item here next to the other ones, we're gonna go to index.html and prepare another function here for the fifth day. Draw bow. And we'll implement this function in its own file, bow.js. In VS Code, if you control click this, it's gonna create the file inside of this items folder. And our draw bow function, given CTX, X and Y for the center location, a size and a hue to control the color. I'm going to test it first by drawing this bounding box. These two helper variables, let me draw this square here. which we'll use for reference so that we make sure that our item fits in the space that we want. Now I'm going to begin a path starting at the center and draw this kind of shape all the way to the corners that kind of looks like a bow and then we'll fine tune that to make it look a bit nicer. So let's begin a path and set the fill style to our normal color given the hue. Move to the center point and now line to the left top, line to left bottom. We don't have this one yet up here but we'll have to define that as well as the right variable and the final to the right. Top. and let's fill this shape. Now up here we need that right to be x plus size by 2 and the bottom y plus half the size. Save, refresh and it kind of looks like a bow already but a very spiky one. So to make it curve I'm going to replace all these line 2's with a curve to, and this is not going to be the destination anymore, it's going to be the control point. The destination is going to be here, so the control point is going to kind of pull on it, and then it's going to go here. Then this will be the new control point going here, and so on. We'll use a quadratic curve to function call here. You can also play with Bezier curves if you want more control here but basically I want to go to left and y being controlled by this one point. If I save and refresh you see how this one is being pulled up in that direction and this point that you see here is actually halfway from here to this middle point on this segment. So kind of good to know that because it means that the height of this bow is going to be half of the width of this bow by the end. Let's do the rest. So here going to X and Y through left and bottom. And uh, this one we don't need it anymore because we are already at X and Y. So these two just need to be modified. symmetrically on the right side and the last
Okay, good. I also want to have a kind of knot here appearing in the middle. This just looks like the, I don't know, infinity symbol. <laughs> so I'm going to go here and let's store these knot properties inside of its own object, like so. The size, maybe 30% of everything. And then for the top and the bottom, I'm going to draw this as a rectangle, maybe a rounded corner rectangle. Let's see. So I need the top and the left in the same way that we needed top and left here for this uh, bounding box. And uh, top, I want to be able to use this size that we just calculated. So I'm using a getter and I return y minus this size divided by two. And for the left, x minus this size divided by two. And let's use a roundness so that we draw this kind of round rectangle. For that, we begin a path, set the fill style maybe to a darker color, and round rectangle left, top, width height is the size, let's just use a square, and then this roundness at the end. And fill, save, refresh, and that's the bow. This red one reminds me of the one Leonard is wearing. Let me know if you want me to make more videos like that. <laughs> maybe this knot could be a little bit smaller. Let's try here, maybe 25. Yeah, but now it kind of looks almost like a circle. So let's also decrease this roundness by half. Okay, this looks good to me. What do you guys think? I'm going to comment this out and let you explore. 